Hey, this is Patrick Jackson back with another online Spanish lesson. Now, to make sure that you get the most out of today's lesson, allow me to give you some helpful advice. Two pieces of advice. One, say the correct answer before the native Spanish speaker, and then repeat the correct answer after the native Spanish speaker. And two, listen to the lesson until the very end. And do you know why? Because at the end, I have two very special gifts for you. And I know you're going to love them, so let's get started. As you can see with the new Learning Spanish Like Crazy program, you have the option to hide or show the text just by a click of the mouse. Personally, I prefer to hide the text because I think when you hide it, that really forces you to think in Spanish. Now listen and repeat the following question. Tú eres maestro? Eres maestro? How would you respond? Yes, I am a teacher. Sí, yo soy maestro. Sí, soy maestro. Did you notice that the male Spanish speaker said, Soy maestro? and that it was not necessary to use the Spanish word un. He simply said, soy maestro. But in English, one would say, I am a teacher. But if you were to use the word to modify the profession, for example, a famous teacher or a demanding teacher, then it becomes necessary to use the indefinite article un or una. For example, Yo soy una maestra famosa. Yo soy una maestra exigente. I'm a famous teacher. I'm a demanding teacher. Listen to the question again. ¿Eres maestro? Now respond. No, I am not a teacher. No, no soy maestro. Listen to this question. Entonces, ¿qué haces? She just asked, Entonces, ¿qué haces? Entonces, ¿qué haces? Means, then, what do you do? As in, what kind of work do you do? Or, what do you do for a living? Besides the question, ¿qué haces? In order to ask, what do you do? You may also hear Spanish speakers ask, ¿en qué trabajas? Or, ¿A qué te dedicas? ¿A qué te dedicas? Literally means, what do you dedicate yourself to? However, in this Spanish course, we will use the more informal question, ¿Qué haces? Speaking to un amigo, or speaking to someone you feel comfortable addressing by their first name, this is how you ask, what do you do? Listen and repeat. ¿Qué haces tú? Haces. ¿Qué haces? Again. Hola, this is Maria, one of the Spanish professors from Learning Spanish Like Crazy. I want to say gracias to you for watching our video. To show our appreciation, we want to give you an Amazon.com gift code. You can use your gift code to get a huge discount on Learning Spanish Like Crazy. Now, to get instant access to your Amazon.com gift code, just go to learningspanishlikecrazy.com. Now, before you go, I have one more special gift for you. And that's a free copy of our Volcano Spanish program. Volcano Spanish will allow you to quickly add hundreds and hundreds of new words to your Spanish vocabulary, just by using the English words that you already know. Volcano Spanish is an MP3 audio course. But we also include the PDF transcript of the program. So, go to learningspanishlikecrazy.com and get instant access to your Amazon.com gift code and your free copy of Volcano Spanish. ¡Hasta luego!